YouTubers. First of all, I have a new assistant. Hello everybody, I am Luke Marius and I help a little bit with the Mac how tools. Well, let's resume our tutorial. And some of you may want to uh, make your own web app for uh, their iPhone or iPod Touch. Well, actually it can. So you're going to open up dash code. For the users that use uh, Dashcode 3.1, can uh, choose uh, between dashboard widget and web application. And in web application, we're just going to, uh, yeah, you can pick anything what you want. I just uh, pick custom, choose. And now you will see uh, actually the uh, screen of an uh, iPhone. And you can uh, change it really like you want. So uh, you uh, can make a notes application. So you can delete this. And you're going to make this, the content box, bigger. And on library, you're going to search for label. Uh, wait, no, text. And right here you can type in something like notes, oh, notes, but to make the layout beautiful, well, pretty, you can uh, do around here, you can find the browser. And you drag the browser into the layout And here you will see that back button, but uh, actually on your iPhone you won't see that. So, and you can change that home thing, home text, you can change that in notes. And you're going to enter tag, a uh, note, a text uh, area. And you're going to make this box, well, yeah, you actually can't do very much with that, you only can change it, you can drag everything out and in. So, this box, you're going to make that bigger, actually as big as the downside of your layout. And you insert text, and you can uh, type in, type your text here. No. Well, and when you press run, the iPhone simulator will open up. Now the iPhone simulator has to load. Now it's opening up Safari and then it's opening up your web app. This is actually what it's going to look like on your iPhone. And here in this box you can type anything and done. Then it's also still there. And um, you can press the plus icon and then you press R to home screen and you uh, can name it for example notes odd and here's the notes app in the iPhone simulator 3.1 uh, it actually very much times don't want to open up the web app but in real time, it does do that. So you press tap. And, uh, well, yeah, you can change now uh, the name of your application. And you're going to uh, name it Notes. And on uh, 
icon the the icon you can just search for the uh, existing notes icon for the iPhone or you can make your own well uh, you see now uh, well actually as always uh, the Safari window and uh, you can search for notes icon iPhone and you actually don't only get the original notes icon but also funny notes notes icons like this one or uh, well actually actually yeah, all kind of things you can search for you also can do this one I really like this one And I'm going to drag it to the desktop. And I'm going to drag it to the icon area. And I'm just going to make it fit correctly. Okay, and uh, so now when you press run <coughs> you will see your application again but now when you press add to home screen you'll find this and you press add and uh, well you see it won't open up here but in real time it does so now uh, you can on dashcode you can do save as uh, no 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 you press share and then save to disk just on the desktop and you're going oh 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 uh, save as just on the desktop and you're going to name it no notes And now you'll find your dash, dash code project that's uh, good to uh, make uh, to make any updates. And uh, you also can do um, here, you can do <coughs> save to disk notes to your desktop. And then you will find a folder uh, notes on your desktop you see here and here you will find everything that uh, makes part of your uh, web application and you have to de actually delete a few things actually two button button click and button you have to delete that and just trash it and now I use Cyberduck to upload things to my website. Now I got to wait till Cyberduck open, uh, open up, opens up. So, Cyberduck is open up. Now I'm going to my website. Uh, okay, and now I'm going to drag the notes folder to my www on my FTP server. 
and just to the FTP server. Now I can see it's uploading. Well, now in Safari, I can go to my application on the computer, so www.mandelfoofs.nl slash, oh, slash notes slash index.html and here I find my web application and the things we deleted out of the application was the back mark. Uh, because else you will find here the uh, back mark. Okay, uh, this was this whole video actually. Uh, you can go to your web app by uh, just uh, open up uh, the URL in uh, on your iPhone. And then you can use it. And you can add it to your home screen, actually everything. And in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to upload your web app to uh, the big Apple server. Well, I, I hope you enjoy this. Bye.